Um, the stereochemistry here is pretty complicated because these are both stereocenters. Mm -hmm. It's probably more complicated than your instructor would get into in your course. So I'm not even going to bother showing the stereochemistry here. Yeah, actually, I think you might get four products because this bromine can be on an, either a wedge or a dash, and this methyl group can end up on either a wedge or a dash. I think that would give you four products, but that might be more, more than your instructor would expect you to go through. Um, so we won't worry about the stereochemistry here. The thing that your instructor will definitely test you on for radical addition is regiochemistry. Well, was this regiochemistry Markovnikov or anti-Markovnikov? Anti. Now, notice how similar this reaction was. It was the identical reaction, but without peroxides. Mm -hmm. And was that Markovnikov or anti? All right. So now we have two different ways to add a hydrogen and a halogen. One of them is Markovnikov, and one is anti-Markovnikov. Last time we met, we saw some ways to do Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov additions of alcohols. Yeah. And now we're seeing how to do Markovnikov and anti-Markovnikov additions of halogens. Non-radical is Markovnikov, and here it's radical. Why the difference? Well, notice in one case we form a carbocation, and in one case we form a radical. But that is not a very big difference, because we want to form the more substituted radical, and we want to form the more substituted carbocation. The difference is who adds first in this reaction? And who adds first here? That explains the difference between them. Um, here, the bromine adds second, so it attacks the more substituted carbon where we have the stable carbocation. But here, the hydrogen attacks second. So that's why it ends up on the more substituted carbon, which is the radical. So it's crucial. The crucial thing about this reaction is that the bromine attacks in propagation step one, and then the hydrogen. You don't want to, you don't want to confuse that with our radical substitution, which is where we were removing a hydrogen and then adding a halogen. This is a completely different reaction. So here's three different things that we could do to this alkene. We could do a little halogenation with NBS. We could do non-radical addition, Markovnikov, or radical addition with peroxides. So you have to watch out for whether there's peroxides or not. We won't bother showing the termination steps here because we don't need those to show the main products. Uh, here's our main product right there. Okay, well this is a complicated mechanism and we went through it pretty quickly, but as you've seen, I, I've gone through it in a little bit more detail in some of the videos, so if you yeah. need to, you can review it in the videos too. Okay. So um, one thing that would be good to do is try to write down on a piece of paper what are the reactions that you learned today. Uh, so, you learned allylic halogenation, you learned radical addition. is actually also a radical substitution, but it's a radical substitution where there's an alkene, so this is, um, this is a type of radical substitution. And you want to uh, not confuse that with some reaction that you've learned previously. For example, previously you learned about electrophilic addition of HBr. This is an electrophilic addition, this is a radical addition. And I'll remind you of one other thing we could have done here. We could have just treated this with Br2. And peroxide? And no peroxides. That's just something that we learned. Oh, right. That's an electrophilic addition too, right? Yeah. Except here we would add two bromines. This is another. Lots of reactions. So you want to try to write those down all on the pieces of paper and not get them confused. Well, most of those are in the handouts that, that I've given you. I have given you one handout on alkenes that has a bunch of the normal alkene reactions, and I've given you the radical handout. I never made, I never put this particular reaction, radical addition, into any of the handouts that you have in your notes. 
These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.